Okay, so uh, our first casting came out and I pulled it out of the mold. It's still setting up a little bit, but uh, as you can see, we got a clear resin casting. Turned out pretty good. I just have a little bit of cleanup where there's some extra resin that just kind of spilled over a little bit, but that's a really easy fix. Uh, that'll just take a little bit of trimming with my utility knife. So I'll stick this one off to the side here. So now we can go ahead and try doing a uh, casting using a tinted pigment. So what we're going to use is we're going to use So Strong. We're going to try a flesh colored since it's a, it's a mold of a belly. So I thought it'd be fun to have like a cool little flesh color mold. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a tiny, tiny bit of the dye in our part B here. So I'm going to glove up because this material wants to spread all over the place, the pigment that we're going to use. So, you know, it can really easily stain things. So you want to make sure you're gloved up. You also only need a very tiny amount because this pigment's really strong. So you only need a tiny, tiny bit. We're going to put it in part B, okay? So I'm going to take my pigment and I actually got a uh, toothpick like stir here because that's how little we're going to need. So I'm just going to take just the tiniest amount. Oops, let's shake this up a little bit. Just making sure we have some of that pigment on there because it looked a little clear coming out. Whoops, a little too much. Okay, so really tiny, tiny amount because you'll see I'll put it in the cup. There's still a little bit of leftover B from our previous casting, but we're only going to need a small amount. Actually, let me put a, just a little bit more in there. Yep, we'll just do like a drop. Okay, so that's good. So we'll go ahead, we'll pour B in. That's just about what we did last time. Now let's pour some A. Again, we want to make sure we're equal. So I'm going to put them next to each other. Take a look. Yep, pour just a little too much A, so I'm going to pour some of that back. A little more. Alright, a little more. Okay, that looks good, so now we'll pour A into B. It's going to be a really light kind of flesh color once we pour it. I wanted it on a little bit more of the pale side. Actually looking at it, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more. I can do that if I think the color's not quite strong enough. Maybe still a little bit more. This is coming out a little lighter, so we'll be pretty generous with the color. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so again, because this sets up really quickly, I'm going to make sure I mix this up in a speedy manner. And then I'm going to spray release really quickly. Every time you're about to pour a casting, you always want to spray release. So we're going to pour high at the lowest point, just like we did last time. And then we're going to keep pouring the mold material. And again, this mold has a little bit of a tilt to it, so I might have to adjust it as I'm pouring the material in. Well, it looks like I have the right angle. I put some popsicle sticks below just in case. But we look pretty good. Now I'm going to just take my popsicle stick, just try and pop out any of those bubbles that I see here. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to go ahead, let that sit, 
and in the next part of the video we'll reveal the casting and then I'll show you how to work with pigment.